Happy new day and happy new week. I wanted to share another beautiful inspirational message for you this week. And I really hope that you take action and you use this as a way to motivate you towards the goals and towards the dreams that you want to achieve. Do you feel like you are stuck and you're not progressing fast enough? Do you feel like people are moving ahead faster than you? Do you feel like you've been playing or going around in circles for so long and you're not progressing? Here is what I recommend you doing. But before I share my recommendations with you, I want to tell you something. We live in a society where because we now have social media, we feel like we have access to people's lives and we feel like we know every single thing that people are doing. And when we see what people are doing or what they are not doing, then we compare um, we compare it to our lives, we compare it to how you know we are running our lives and we start to feel insecure about it and we start to feel sad and we start to just spiral down um, you know into what you know negative thoughts and all these kind of things but this video is really meant to motivate and to inspire you um, in a way that will help you take action to improve your life so if you feel like you are not progressing fast enough here are three things that I recommend you doing number one pause okay the feeling of not progressing fast enough or the feeling of, you know, feelings of just feeling stuck, forgive me for the repetition, can come from different sources. It can come from the fact that you really genuinely feel in your life like you are supposed to be achieving something more. And it could also come from the fact that you are feeling pressure from society. So when I tell you number one, pause, I want you to, during that, that first step to identify where is that feeling coming from? Is that feeling coming as a pressure of society where you know people are telling you you should be doing this or your parents are telling you this or your you know your 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 friends or you know your partner you, or it, does it come from society from external factors where you feel like you know th this person is, is doing this so i should also be doing this or doing something similar or does it come in from from internal sources now if it comes from society i will not really pay it much attention but if it comes from internal sources like from within you then you should focus on it the, the thing is that the things that you feel inside of you are more powerful, you know, than the pressure that society is trying to put to, to give you. And it's true that at a, certain, at a certain phase in your life, you are going to feel a desire for more. You are going to, it's like your body, your mind and your heart is going to start to itch for more. And I have felt that. I know this because I have felt that. I have felt that spiritually. I have felt that intellectually. I have felt that financially. And also emotionally in relationships you feel like you need more you feel like what you have is no longer enough and it doesn't come from outside it comes from within you feel like your everything your mind your body and your soul makes you feel like you need to get more so if you feel like you are stuck and that feeling is coming from inside the first thing you want to do is assess you know what it really means and why you feel stuck okay the second thing that I recommend that you do is identifying what you have achieved in every area of your life now I didn't say what you achieved but identify what you have achieved in every area of, of your life now when I coach entrepreneurs and when I coach people I usually help them to classify different areas of your of your life in based on how I approach my own life and based on what I have learned but I'm just going to give you a few examples different areas of your, of your life include your finances your spiritual life emotional um, or relationship or love life family life you know if you if you don't have a family of your own like you don't have a husband or children or wife and children then it could be the family that you came from instead of the family that you created um you know professional life you know personal development so different aspects and different areas of your life write down the things that you have achieved before you look at what you don't have you need to look at what you have so write down the things that you have achieved in each areas of the of um your life and write also how it makes you feel to have achieved those things then the third thing that you want to you want to look at is write down the things you want to achieve in the next year the next three years the next five years and the next 10 years now i know it might feel like why do i do all this planning but you know if you're on my on my youtube channel you know i preach this religiously and i say if you don't plan your life you are not going to go anywhere you have to engineer your life you have to plan it yes things can happen you know the, the um the life can happen and so forth but at least if something happens to you to, to shift your plan around at least you have already had a plan so it's important for you to know what you want to achieve in a year in three years five years and ten years at least so that with that plan now you have something to work towards you have something to work to look forward to and when the world is going to come to try to put pressure on you when people are going to come to try to make you feel like you're not achieving anything then you go back to your plan and you go back and you see that you know what actually i have this three-year plan 
and I know that you know within three years I want to be achieving this and I know every single day I'm putting steps towards to be able to achieve this so those are my three tips for you if you feel stuck remember the pressure from society is not something that you should necessarily internalize but you should listen to what your own my own mind is telling you what your own body is telling you and the things that you truly want to accomplish to be happy until then I hope you have a great week and see you next week for another dose of weekly motivation <laughs>